two gamesplaining episodes in one week? Well, Sony and Nintendo both had big events and I didn't want to skip either of them. And yes, that's a plug. So check out my coverage of the Nintendo Direct, link in the description. So without further ado, let's see what Sony has in store for us. Headlining the upcoming news for PlayStation 5 is God of War Ragnarok. Still on track for a release later this year, the game has finally released an official story trailer. As always, the voice acting, the graphics, and the hints of what the story will be look on track for an absolutely fantastic game. And as soon as it comes to PC, I might even play it. The game will also launch with a custom skin controller, sold separately. I'm not sure why this made the cut for some of Sony's biggest announcements, but then again, Sony is always going on about their controllers. Maybe it's a PlayStation person thing, but personally, I don't get it. I also don't get Tekken 8, because I don't own the PlayStation 5. But I know a lot of gamers are excited for it, and watching the new trailer, I can see why. Aside from clearly sticking to the well-made formula of giving gamers exactly what they want in superhuman reflexes, speed, and muscles, the graphics, the environment, and I mean the whole package really, it just looks fun. And I mean if you're not having fun while you play, you just might not be doing it right. The game doesn't have a release date yet, though it looks like at some point it will also release for Xbox and PC. Whilst nothing is confirmed yet, if it does release there, it means that I lied at the start of this paragraph and I may actually get my hands on the game. If so, I won't be complaining. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge for PSVR 2 has a trailer and it looks... Who am I kidding? I'm a massive Star Wars nerd. I don't care about any of the potential issues or graphical problems or anything else that someone may point out in a trailer. It's a freaking Star Wars game and I need it. But I can't afford a PlayStation. Though if you'd like to help me out on that one, link to my Patreon is in the description. And yes, that's a plug in the middle of my video. So what else can I tell you? It looks fucking great. It's Star Wars. What more do you need? Right, a release date and is it coming to any other platforms? The game is slated for sometime in 2023 and will be exclusive to the PlayStation. However, the original game of the same name that the game is based on is available on Oculus and looks, um, worse. Speaking of worse, console exclusive quests. The Hogwarts Legacy PlayStation exclusive quest line got a teaser and, uh, it looks dark. A horror-esque haunted house questline looks, uh, like it confirms my Dave Filoni theory and this is as much a kid's game as Clone Wars was a kid's show. What Geneva convention. As much as I despise it when platforms get exclusive quests and try to create needless infighting between gamers and console communities, as someone who gets rather triggered by horror genre, I personally will not be missing this one too much. But whether our next title ends up missing or hitting remains to be seen. Pacific Drive is a new take on the survival genre that's seen exploding success over the last few years and this one sees a player tied to their car. I mean, not literally, that would be a very different game. Players will have only their car as they try to survive across the Pacific Northwest region of the United States. The game looks really interesting and while it may not be my cup of tea, I prefer my survival game with friends, it might just do well. We won't know for sure until the game launches sometime in 2023, although you'll need an actual PlayStation owner if you're looking for a review at that point. Moving on! And finally, PlayStation have given some more information about their new loyalty program, PlayStation Stars. The company said, uh, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. The TLDR is you can unlock some small digital collectibles that someone definitely didn't design with the idea of an NFT in mind. Discounts, loyalty rewards, and all that were not mentioned, but hey, I'm sure they're coming. Just like I'm sure, this episode is over. There's still a series of short updates to come throughout the week, so be sure to follow or subscribe here or on any of my other social medias linked in the description so you don't miss any of those. And I'll be back for another episode of Gamesplaining next week.